everybody. Big black hat man here. I gotta admit, I'm feeling kind of down. Yeah, just having one of those days. <sighs> it all started. I was watching a John Wayne movie and I thought, man, it's too bad John Wayne's gone. And I thought about it. Almost every actor in the movie was gone. Ben Johnson, Mort Bond, all dead. <sighs> and the only Western coming out this year is actually a Southern, directed by Quentin Tarantino. How's that supposed to get me back up? Oh well, I'm sure there'll be lots more in the future for me to watch and enjoy and, you know, all around feel better about. But in the meantime, I'll do what everybody with self-esteem issues and a little weight problem does. I'm going to have something to eat. So on this week's episode of Western Thought, I thought we could talk about food. I mean, the West has all sorts of foods associated with it, you know, like steak. Yeah. And, um, hmm. Rocky Mountain Oysters, which we've already discussed, and many of you may have found that unpleasant. Um, let's see what else is there. There's, um, oh, you know, uh, barbecue, which is actually Southern in its origin, not really Western. Uh, Tex-Mex? Eh, you know, sort of. So, okay, maybe Western isn't really a cuisine per se, but I mean there's stuff that's associated with the American West. The Reuben Sandwich. It's out of Omaha, Nebraska. Maybe not the most Western food, but still. We also have baked beans. Which, you know. Anyway, but rather than just talk about food and try and come up with weird random foods off the top of my head, I thought maybe I'd show you how to make something. Yeah, I'm going to teach you how to cook. Which seems odd since I can barely cook. Eh, at any rate, here we go. A little lesson on how to make a chicken fried steak. Welcome to Cooking with Goofball. Oh, don't act insulted. Come on. Let's just show them the ingredients. Let's start with round steak. A round steak is the perfect kind of steak for this recipe. There it is, Vanna. Show it off, you big sexy thing. Yeah, whatever. It is a little weird. Anyway, round steak. Next we have eggs. Two or three, depending on how much you're making. Yes, eggs. And what are, you, what are you doing? Don't sit that in your mouth! What is wrong with you? Don't do that. Next we have crackers. There you go. Show them the crackers. There you go, bud. It's crackers. And you're going you're gonna to stick one of these in your mouth, too. Yeah, okay, eat the cracker. If it'll keep you happy. Ugh. You also need one large frying pan. Just like so. I'd like to hit you with that frying pan. You also need canola oil for this recipe. Thank you. Thank you. Pay, pay attention. Pay attention. There, there you go. And finally, last but not least, we have flour. An important ingredient, the flour. And why are you shaking the flour? They can see it's flour. Stop, stop shaking the flour. All right, moving on. Our first step is to put the canola oil in the pan. Now, take the lid off and pour it in the pan. No, don't drink it. Don't, don't. What is your obsession with things in your mouth? Stop that. Stop that. Pour the canola oil in the pan liberally to about a quarter of an inch to cover the whole bottom. There you go. Yeah, just, just right, buddy. Keep it up. Stop. Okay. Good with that? Yeah. Yeah. You're genius. Whatever. Now I'll turn the heat on to a medium setting so it can warm up while we do the other steps. Next, it's the eggs. Crack the eggs. Crack the eggs lightly. They're eggs. They're eggs. What are you doing? Lightly. There you go. There you go, buddy. Crack those eggs. All right. We got one down. Let's see if we can get two more without disaster. There's two. Oh, boy. You, you almost look like you know what you're doing there, pal. It's uh, almost a miracle. All right, now whip the eggs. That's that's not whipping eggs. Get a, get a utensil. Get a utensil and whip the eggs. I don't know what you're doing there. Stop that. There you go. A fork. That'll work perfect. Whip the eggs and and they're whipped. What are you doing? This is it's not that funny. What what is wrong with you? Stop stop that. Oh. Now that we have the eggs whipped, we can move on to the crackers. The crackers need to be mashed up into some fine powder. What, what are you doing? What are you getting? What are you... No, not with a hammer! Oh, you don't smash up crackers with a hammer. Destroy the plate. Get something more reasonable. There you go. That'll work. 
And this is clearly going to take a while, uh, especially with this guy. So we'll just go ahead and jump ahead to when he's done smashing the crackers. There you go. Smash crackers into a nice fine powder. Next thing's next. We're going to add the flour to the crackers. Now some people do these steps separately, but lazy people don't. Yeah, I'm looking at you, pal. If you're going to do the crackers and flour together, I recommend a one-to-one -one mix. Yeah, yeah, there you go. One-to-one. -one. Well, don't stiff your hand. <laughs> There's so much wrong with you. So much wrong. Just just mix the mix the flours and crackers. Just do it. Come on. There you go, buddy. There you go. And, and well, most people do this like a normal person. I'm not sure what's going on here. That's weird. Just, just, just get a mix. Come this is the most painful experience I've ever had. All right, now we're going to move on to making our steak. First things first, take a steak. Yes, a piece of meat. It, it doesn't need a dance. Come on, get back to work. <sighs> Literally cover it with egg. Make sure almost all parts of it are covered with egg. There you go, just like so, buddy. Now, cover it with our batter, the, the uh, crackers and the flour. Good work there, pal. Good work. Nice and even. Yeah. Yeah, you're doing a good job there. Okay, now put it in the pan. Our pan should already be warmed up, so those should start cooking right away. And of course, repeat the process as many times as necessary, depending on the number of steaks you're making, and so on and so forth. <sighs> yeah, yeah, good job. You almost look competent. Yeah, that's a first. Good job. Okay, come on, hurry up, nice and even. The people are waiting. There you go, in the pan. And just to warn you now, your fingers do get a little messy. Yeah. Clean those up, bud. Alright. Now, as you're cooking these steaks, make sure to cook them nice and even, flipping them regularly. You'll be able to tell that they're done when the meat turns a little bit gray and the batter a little bit brown. There you go. Flip those steaks, buddy. You're doing a fine job. For once. First time for everything. Your pants falling. Hey! Pay attention. Stop thumbs upping. Just do it. Come on. Well, that's a mighty fine meal you got there, friend. Boy, look at that peas, potato, bread and honey, and our steak. You mind sharing with me, Belle? Come on. I helped you make it. I mean, no. No, hey, hey, Ugh. Well, I guess that's it from here today. So, happy trails. If you teach someone to cook, make sure they're going to share. And watch out for those rough patches. questions comment below and quite frankly I'm going to warn you right now this is a really messy recipe all right thanks guys